in health care. Um, and I said, you know, this is an area that just comes naturally to me. I'm interested in it and I want to pursue it. So when I was in high school, um, I was the president of the Health Law Society. I interned for the Medicaid Fraud Control Unit at the Attorney General's Office here in Florida. Um, and I worked on both civil and the criminal side of the investigations. And that really kind of just bolstered my, my interest in the area. Upon graduating, I went several months without getting a job, not because the opportunities weren't there, but because I really wanted to focus my career on the healthcare industry and healthcare law in general. So um, eventually I was able to get a job in Coral Gables practicing managed care litigation. I didn't want to be a one trick pony, so after a few years I decided to jump ship and go somewhere else so I could be a little bit more multifaceted. I worked on regulatory and transaction matters at a note for me in Coral Gables. After uh, quite some time there, I decided, you know what, it's now or never. I decided to go on my own and start my own firm, Jones Health Law. Um, it's been about three and a half years or so now that I've been on my own, and I've focused my practice primarily, of course, on health law, but more so on transaction and regulatory matters. Um, the types of clients that I service are veterinarians, dentists, uh, MMTCs, which are medical marijuana treatment centers, plastic surgeons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, if you're looking for a boob job, a dog, <laughs> clean teeth, or marijuana, <laughs> wow! <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The happy hour, I only pay for happy hour until eight. <laughs> Side. The types of clients I guess that I'm kind of looking for are people who people who are kind of now starting their practice, right? You kind of got out of med school, or you're looking to start your own healthcare provider, or healthcare facility, right? So I'll help you with the licensing and um, accreditation and so on and so forth, drafting those initial documents for you, contracts, lease agreements, so on and so forth. Um, or you know, if your practice has been on the run for a little while and you're looking to expand, uh, I can help with that. Uh, lease agreements for medical office space if you're looking to expand. Um, if you're getting new staff, you need employment agreements, independent contractor agreements, so on and so forth. Or if you're in the twilight of your career and you're looking to sell your practice or your healthcare facility, I can help you wind down your business as well. Um, if there are any regulatory concerns if the Department of Health or the Agency for Health Administration office is knocking on the door, you can give me a call. Uh, I'll kind of try to help you with that as well. If I can't help you with that, then of course I'll refer you to one of you individuals here <laughs> this evening um, to see if you might be able to assist them with that. So uh, yeah. I'll try to keep it as succinct as possible. Again, my name is Jamal Jones, and uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs>